There's not many fish that won't take a live bait, and there's a few different rigs that I use depending on the conditions that I'm fishing in. The water depth, the species I'm chasing, and also the strength of the current determines which rig I use. Today I'm going to talk about the snood rig. It's strong, it's versatile, and I can use it with live baits or dead baits, which makes it an extremely flexible rig to use. A rig I use a lot for live bait fishing and also dead baits is the snood rig. And it's a two hook rig made with mustard big gun 6 O's and 80 pound leader. First thing I do is I cut a bit over a metre of 80 pound leader from the spool. With the first hook and the leader, I feed that leader through the eye of the hook and then I tie a centurion knot. I want to make sure that knot is really tight. That's the main part of my rig. So I pull that really tight there and make sure it's a, a good tight fit. Second thing I do is I need to feed the second hook through the leader. Goes through the eye of the hook. And I feed that down the line and I want to leave enough space between the first and second hook to accommodate my live bait or my dead bait. And in this case, it's about 15 centimetres. Then with the second hook and the main line, held together with my thumb and forefinger, I wrap the leader around the shaft and the main line 10 times. Then keeping tension, I feed that leader back through the eye of the second hook and pull that tight. And that gives me a snooted hook rig, which I can then slide a running ball sinker down, depending on the current. And I can also tie this end off to a swivel, which then ties to the main line of my rod and reel. The snood rig is extremely effective when fishing for reef fish on or near the bottom. Adjust the hook size and the weight of your lead to suit the species, and also the drag pressure on your reel so that those fish don't drive you into the reef.